Now that we know what the charges are, what is the reaction from voters? A former president had strong support on Long Island in the last two elections. So what are they saying about these charges revealed tonight? I would news reporter Stacey Sager continues our coverage. If there's power in numbers, there wasn't much power here in Jericho this morning. They aimed for 200 people in support of Donald Trump. They left for New York City with just seven. But their passion permeated, remarkably like that of Donald Trump himself. We're going to win, and we're going to win the election in 2024. God bless America. It's going to be great today. Some say the lack of showing is because pro-Trump demonstrators are fearful after the arrests stemming from January 6th. But others say support for the former president had been waning long before today's circus came to town. I think he was a good president. But he's just a jackass. <laughs> no, I don't want him to be president again. And what is the reason why? He doesn't know how to keep his mouth closed. Former Congressman Peter King, among those in the Republican establishment here on Long Island, who will not support Donald Trump in the upcoming primary. But he also calls this case a miscarriage of justice. There's certain lines we haven't crossed before in politics, and so we've done it with impeachment. Now we're doing it with a criminal prosecution of a former president about a payment that was made years ago. What is clear is that Trump's most ardent supporters will use this case to raise even more money for his campaign. But will it work here? Do you think he should be the Republican candidate for the next president? No, I don't. No, I don't. Why? What, what do you think? Because in the past, I think he's been very divisive. I've been disgusted with him, so it's just kind of bringing all of my feelings to, you know, validating everything I've been feeling the last, what, eight years? And so for them, it's about time.